What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have My Damn Hauls episode number 51. <laughs> If you guys enjoyed the intro or enjoy what you see here, go follow SM underscore battle underscore stories on Instagram or get some work done yourself. My God, how beautiful is that brand new intro for My Damn Halls. Guys, definitely go give him a follow over there. But uh, today's episode of My Damn Halls, the first episode after My Damn Halls episode 50, is 50 freaking one, because that's how numbers go, right? You know, 50, then 51. So today, we have two packages, and the first one is some fan mail from my boy Rod, and this thing's pretty freaking heavy. I'm pretty excited to see what we got in here, because I have no idea. He just hit me up and said, bro, send in some more fan mail, so I am super excited to get this fan mail. And then we have a loose figure package from my boy Jake Vindlawan who has probably been featured on so many different episodes of My Damn Hall, so I'm very excited for his packages. He is always bringing the heat with the loose figure deal, so uh, we got some rare figures in here that I cannot wait to get open, but uh, first of all, we have a letter here from a fan that I want to read before we go any further, so I'm just going to open this envelope up, and I believe it's just a letter here, so we do have a letter. And I'm going to go ahead and open it up and read it out to you guys. And all right, so we got some artwork, I think, right here. So we have some artwork, and there it is. It's got Vindication, My Damn Toys logo, My Damn Halls logo, and then the MDT Sold Out logo, which uh, you guys know, last week I was on vin uh, on vacation. I wasn't on Vindication. I was on vacation. And so I couldn't film all last week. You guys saw the videos, but... Uh, I had to film those a week in advance, so we do have some artwork there, thank you so much, but I could not work on Sold Out because I was out of the country, so uh, I am now beginning starting to film, so we will get that up as soon as possible, but right here we do have the letter that I'm going to read right now, and uh, I'm going to try my best here with this uh, handwriting. It says, hey MDT, I'm a huge fan of your channel, I've been a fan since last year, my favorite videos were your Superstar Collection videos. I hope I get on MDH 50 or 51. It turns out you got on MDH 51. So you're on My Damn Halls number 51. He has some questions here. He says, what is your favorite match of all time? Uh, honestly, that's very hard. There's a lot of matches that I love. You know, some matches better than others, obviously. But um, I think the first match that always comes to mind is WrestleMania 20, the triple threat main event. Chris Benoit, Triple H, and Shawn Michaels. I love that match very much. Uh, it's definitely up there. That's just the first one that comes to my head. Uh, next up, he says, what are some dream matches that you would like to see? Uh, huh. I want to see a good, solid feud between AJ Styles and Seth Rollins. That is something that I want to see. I know they've probably wrestled in the past before, but I want to see, you know, a good WrestleMania match between those two guys. I think that would be nice. Or Finn Balor and Jeff Hardy would be a really fun match to see. But if we're going all time, I would probably say, like, Stone Cold and John Cena. But uh, he says, if you, had a, if you had one attire that hasn't been made from Mattel, um, from any wrestler, past or present, what will it be? Also, I am trash at coloring. Quick plug, subscribe to me at IG the King. So go subscribe to his channel, IG the King, on YouTube. But uh, I think this uh, this guy's name is Igbal, I think, or Igbal. I I'm so sorry if I am butchering your name, but that is what I think it is. But, uh, yeah, thank you so much for the kind letter. Uh, if I had one attire that I could do, I think I would choose probably that Chris Benoit. Chris Benoit from WrestleMania 20 would be an absolute beauty from Mattel. But uh, thank you so much to Igbo for sending us this artwork and this letter. Thank you guys so very much for your amazing words. But uh, now, guys, let's dive into our first package here. My name is Halls. I guess we'll start out with Jake's package, then we'll go to the fan mail. All right, guys, so we're starting out with our first package from my boy Jake from State Farm. So uh, you guys know how we do. We got some loose figures in here, but the only way to get to the loose figures is with the good old trusty knife. Now let's just cut it straight off the top right here. Um, he always does these really good God Almighty. He always does these really cool deals on uh, Facebook and stuff like that. So he'll do this like five for sixty deal. And I thought that these figures were too good for the 5 for 60 deal to pass down. So uh, the first figure that we have right here, guys, is a Randy Orton. And honestly, I don't know what Randy Orton this is. I don't think I've ever seen this. It is literally black trunks with white designs. I don't know of a Randy Orton Elite that does this, unless this is like... Like, I have no... I've never seen this Elite before. I cannot think of the Elite series. I know that the All-Stars... 
um, Randy Orton had, you know, like a, uh, a grayish color, but I've never seen the black with white. So if you guys can tell me the series, I would love to know because I have no idea at all. But you guys know how I am. Huge Randy Orton Mark, second favorite wrestler of all time. And uh, I just thought this was interesting that I'd never see. I thought it was a custom, but it doesn't look custom. Uh, so yeah, we have the black and white Randy Orton. Again, if you guys know the series, let me know down in the comment section below because this, this thing's freaking flames. And yeah, we got a new Randy Orton to add to the collection. I'm going to change the camera angle right here so we can get some better lighting. Alright guys, let's see what the next figure is pulling it out right here. We have the freaking All-American Jack freaking Swagger right here. And I can't even remember what elite number this is. But uh, I I actually posted it on, uh, what was it, Instagram. I posted it on Instagram and I said, does anybody have this figure? And I could not get it for Trey, but now I have it. So we flip it around. It says 100% American. It's got the stars going on the sides. I remember a lot of people used to make Kurt Angle customs out of this. Way too tall for Kurt Angle, but uh, I love this figure. I'm going to be probably using it this way in the pick fed. But what's interesting about this figure, guys, is the boots. You'll see the boots are actually Eddie Guerrero Legends Elite boots. So I thought that was pretty cool crazy that uh, it had the Eddie Guerrero boots on this Elite. I thought that was hilarious. So I wanted to pick this up, not just for the boots, but the figure is amazing and I was looking for it for a while. So we have this Jack Swagger Elite that I've never owned before. Next up, we do have an Elite Miz, and I cannot remember which series Miz this is. I believe it's an earlier series. Again, cannot cannot freaking remember which one. I think it was like in the white boxes when we just get the white box Elites. But uh, here is the Miz. And it's got this black colorway. I believe this is going to be a custom. It's going to be a Marty Scurll custom for a customer. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to be using this Miz for. Very nice Miz figure. Got B Miz on the butt. Got some nice stuff going on. And really good base for a Marty Scurll, if you didn't know that already. So, we have that. And then we have two more figures in here. The first being this Elite 14 John Cena, I do believe. And it comes with a Jax United States Championship. And this championship is super freaking flames, guys. If you guys don't own this championship, it's actually way better than Mattel's version because it's actually accurately sized. If I can get it off of his effing waist. There we go. Finally got it off of there. But uh, this, this belt's really nice. Again, it's way better than Mattel's. Mattel's is super small. This actually has the stitch detail in the freaking strap. And it's way bigger, way better sized. And you can paint up the side plates like I did on one of mine. It actually does spin here. And yeah, just a great championship. So if you don't have that, I definitely recommend it. But uh, I wanted to get this because I like the way that John Cena looks right here. I love the light, long jorts color. And they actually gave him some details on his uh, shoes right here. So I can never have too many John Cenas. I think we're approaching 100 John Cena elites in my collection. So I cannot wait to reach that. We're not there yet, but we are nearing close. And this, you know, this draws us one John Cena closer to that number. So we have that John Cena. And then our final figure is the Elite 8 Evan freaking Bourne, guys. And I actually used this to uh, make a custom before and I sold the fodder that I had left over and now I got it back in my collection. And I think Evan Bourne used to be a member of the MDT Live roster and then uh, he got broken down into parts and we never saw him again. I think he competed in the MDT United States Championship number one contender battle royal. He got clotheslined and did like a summer, like he did a freaking shooting star press after he got clotheslined. And uh, oh my God, I think his hands glued or something. But that's that's actually fixable, so I'm not I'm not worried about that. Um, but this is a great figure, a great Evan Bourne Elite, and I'm happy to have it back in my collection. Cannot wait to uh, see what he does in the future, maybe in the pick fed or on the channel somewhere. So now that we've gotten all five of these epic figures figures from Jake, guys, let's go ahead and get into the fan mail from Rod. So package number two, guys, we do have this package. This fan mail from my boy Rod, RKO1974 on Instagram, absolute beast of the channel, and uh, he always sends us great packages. I believe this is our second one, but uh, it was an epic first one, so I know he, he delivered here in the second one. Uh, it says right here on the side, if you guys can see, it says insert trusty knife here, so he already knows what it is. So we're going to stick the trusty knife where Rod tells us to. It's go right there and just give it a little slice and dice like freaking Michelangelo or whatever the crap. Michelangelo uses freaking nunchucks, so I don't know what I'm talking about. Maybe Leonardo is a better one with the sword there. But uh, let's go ahead and open this one up here. And again, I have no idea what's in here, so we're all going to be surprised. 
Oh, snapsies, my freaking gapsies, guys. So it looks like uh, we have a ton of stuff in here, including some freaking John Cena elites. And my God almighty, what in the hell did we get here? Uh, he did send us a letter. We gotta, we gotta open the letter first. So we'll slide this up. It says, Extras Brosif. And he always calls me Brosif because I always say Brosif. So, um, let's see here. All right, so we're going to open up this envelope, and we got, oh, snap, what is this? We got some, is this stickers? We got some John Cena stickers, and these are impressive, man. We got the 2011 John Cena, or 2010 John Cena stickers in the house with his uh, yellow and purple colorway. So we got the John Cena sticker, the Never Give Up C Nation sticker, and then the You Can't See Me sticker. Thank you so much, Rod, for those stickers. Figure out a way to put those, but we got some extras again. Yeah, I think this is empty. All right, so we got the envelope emptied out, but let's go ahead and dive in here. What do we What do we have over here? Let's get the small stuff first. Um, it looks like we have uh, this little John Cena. It looks like wrapped up in a little baggie. We're gonna undo this, and yes, sir, it's a freaking little mini me John Cena. That is freaking sick. So we have his 2015 colorway looking there with his orange and green. We have another little John Cena right here in his 2016 attire, the uh, Never Give Up with the red, white, and blue. So that's really cool. This little John Cena figure right here. I've seen this around, and I always wanted to pick it up, but now. We have two little mini John Cena's to add to our epic John Cena collection. Thank you so much, Rod, for those. Those are amazing. We have two Elite 40 John Cena hats. And uh, these are going to come in handy later down the line for custom John Cena. So thank you so much, Rod. These are amazing. I wish we got the t-shirt with this figure, but we have two Elite 40 John Cena hats to go with our John Cena Elites back here. He sent us three John Cena Elites. You heard that right. Three John Cena Elites. I think last time he sent us Seth Rollins. This time it is John Cena. So you know what I said earlier about approaching 100 John Cenas. I think Rod just brought us even closer now with these three. We got an Elite 40 John Cena right there. I love the head scan on this. The black shorts look great as well. We have an Elite 28 John Cena right here. And not my favorite head scan, but he knows as well as I do. I have a million John Cena heads that we could pop on here. So we have an Elite 28 John Cena. And then we have another Elite 40 John Cena. So thank you so much, Rob, for these epic John Cena figures. These look incredible. Cannot wait to add them to the bin of John Cena. And actually, before we move on to our other figures, I want to show you guys my baggie full of John Cena accessories that these hats are actually going to go in. Let me grab those real quick. So here it is in all its glory. This is my John Cena accessory baggie. And I have all of my extra hats, arms, dog tags, wristbands, shoes, Everything John Cena related that is an accessory, besides t-shirts, obviously, those are in the crowd and all my John Cena figures. This is where they go, and uh, they will be used for future John Cena customs. You guys know how I am about John Cena, favorite wrestler of all time. So we're going to take our two hats and add them to the, well, not yet, because i gotta, I got to take a nice picture there. But uh, we will be adding those two hats to the John Cena accessories collection. So now that we've got all of our John Cena stuff squared away, again, huge shout out to Rod. I am so super freaking excited for this John Cena-ish. We have two figures back here, and it looks like I already know what they are. We have the first figure. Let's see if I can get them out of their little bubble wrap packaging here. The first figure is the 123 Kid, the Elite 41 123 Kid, I believe, and I think he, uh, the reason that he sent this to me is because I was looking for these legs because I wanted to uh, make a few customs and stuff, so huge shout out to Rod, always delivering with the stuff, and then we have an HBK that I was looking for for future customs. We have the Walmart exclusive Lost Legends or the Flashback exclusive, whatever that line's called, Shawn Michaels, and this is beautiful, cannot wait. This is my third one now, and I'm going to be using it to make a custom Shawn Michaels, so the, thank you so much, Rod. Uh, again, always delivering. Rod is the absolute best, and he is always sending us the greatest stuff. So thank you so much, Rod, again, for 
the 123 Kid, the exclusive Shawn Michaels, the John Cena Epic Sauce package here with all the John Cena stuff. We got the little figures, we got the hats, we got the elites, and I am just super duper excited for this one, guys. Thank you so very much to Rod. Go give him a follow on Instagram at RKO1974, and um, he makes really awesome Matt Hardy customs as well. And I think you guys should go follow him just for those. He makes incredible Matt Hardy customs all the time. And he's actually really underrated. So definitely go give him a follow. And let's check out our entire haul. And here we have our entire haul all lined up. Guys, again, huge shout out to Rod and Jake for sending us these figures. Uh, especially Rod, man. Thank you so much for the fan mail. It means so much to me when you guys send me fan mail. It just really hits home with me. And again, huge thank you to the awesome feedback that we got for My Damn Hauls episode number 50. Now that that is out of the way, we can, you know, focus more on having more consistent uploads for my damn hauls and you know we can probably roll on to 100 quicker than we got to 50 so hopefully we can do that but that pretty much does it for this my damn hauls episode guys one two three kid the miz randy orton jack swagger Shawn michaels four john cena elites two mini me john cena figures some john cena stickers and elite eight evan born all coming home to mdt here today I'm going to recount my John Cena figures, and I think I need to do a special video when I hit 100 John Cena's. What do you guys think? I think that would be cool to do, go through all of them and stuff. But thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos. Comment down below your favorite figure from this haul today, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.